John. Welcome to Brøndby. How did you uh, get to know about Brøndby in the first place? Well, I knew about Brøndby growing up as a kid. I used to watch, you know, the big games. A uh, huge club for me growing up, and um, and obviously since meeting Jan a few years ago, we're we're great uh, family friends. And uh, Jan's been inviting me over for the last couple of years, so I promised him that I would come over. And thankfully, with the schedules um, back in England, I've, I've managed to, to come over today and watch the game, which I'm very excited about. So you said you you've uh, known Brøndby since you were a young kid. So what do you remember? What do you know about Brøndby? Yeah, well, listen, huge club over here. I know, I know, big rivalry as well. Um, and as I say, kind of when I was growing up, you know, in in later stages of the Champions League, uh, which it is now, of course, um, always in the big competitions uh, with some huge players that, you know, want to come to Chelsea and you know, miss a loud drop as well. So, fantastic for me as a young kid to experience, you know, playing around young players like that and and everybody. But a huge club and listen, great to be here and, and to, support, to, to to support Jan and the team today. Yeah, and uh, Brøndby is. Uh uh, known for its fans here in Denmark. What do you know about the, the home fans here at Brøndby Stadium? Yeah, very passionate and seeing obviously behind me that's where they're going to be standing and, and cheering. So, listen, I think all football fans across the world have got, you know, great love for their football clubs and, and you can see as well, you can soak up the atmosphere when you're coming in. You know, the fans already in the pubs getting ready for the game with a, a couple of nice beers in the weather um, and supporting the team that they love and, and for us players as well. You know, when, when they sing and you know individually and chant the name for the team, it means everything for players. So I'm looking forward to seeing that side as well. Yeah, so uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Daniel Aga, who's the vice captain here in, in Brøndby. You've played uh, against him a few times yeah. in the Premier Premier League. Uh, what uh, what can you tell tell us about him? Yeah, top player, and I know when Jan uh, managed to, um, to persuade him to come back here, Jan was very delighted. Um, to get him back because for me a, a top class player with the experience having played in the Premier League as well and played against him in some, some big Champions League games herself as well against Liverpool so uh, it'd be nice to say hello and, and, uh, and get to say hi again today and uh, for me to sit back and relax today. So and, uh, one uh, final question, uh, here in Denmark there's been uh, some rumours in the media, some speculation about uh, you taking over the, the trainer position here in, in Brøndby. Uh, <laughs> so what, uh, what can you say to these uh, rumours? No, listen, I'm, I'm very good friends with Jan, as I said, and you know, listen, I still want to play for a couple more years, so hopefully that's at Chelsea. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a Chelsea player and Chelsea's been my club from the age of 14. You know, I love Chelsea. You know, I love Jan. Jan's, Jan's a real family friend and, you know, such a lovely guy. So it's great for me to be here for him and, you know, to, to wish the club well. And it's great because I look out for their results now as well because of Jan's involvement. You know, I, I look out and, you know, it's the first result we'll look for after a game because I want the team to do well, I want Jan to do well. Um, so to show that support for me is, is key. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.